Well, hey everybody, this is Steve. So this video will be on how to attach a PTO-driven cement mixer on the back of your tractor. And the reason why you'll want to do that is because you're dealing with something that you could put in a lot more volume than a hand mixer, right? It's a commercial grade mixer at this point in time. Now this isn't your pretty uh, dealer uh, video, right? Where I start on some tarmac and I've already got all the fittings and all the settings. Uh, I bought this mixer. It was hard to find because it's at, at the end of the uh, COVID and I could only find one in the nation. So I went ahead and bought, and bought it. But I grew up with these. Uh, the advantage to them on a farm, of course, is uh, if I put a fork truck of uh, water in the front, strap it down and I take this I can put I could pour concrete anywhere right anywhere on the farm I could just drive out dump it uh, but uh, like all equipment that you buy and attach to something there was a little more fiddling than is required so uh, it had been in storage for a while underneath some trees of mine so I'll just start right at the beginning I've got a gate to put in and it needs 20 bags of 80 pounds of uh, concrete put into it a little bit of weight maybe less than that I don't know but we're gonna start with uh, 10 bags and see how far we get but I want to be able to put this in uh, and use this dump truck but this particular video will be the mechanical part how to cut grind mount what you need to look for, how to get the, at least the uh, top link, hydraulic top link on the pins. I tried it with my Harbor Freight three-point pin and the uh, the header to the top of that hitch wouldn't work. I had to go direct to the thing. It's probably a little better anyway. It gets the weight uh, closer to the wheels. And uh, the water in the front won't just be for a uh, uh, show, right? It's, it's giving me a counterbalance so I don't tip this thing over. Uh, get hurt on that so but this particular video uh welcome aboard uh, it'll be all things putting on a uh, uh cement mixer onto your pto driven tractor well hey this is steve a thousand year home i am building a house off grid uh solo building that will last a thousand years uh it rained uh last night so i had an opportunity to go and mow my fence rows and mow the county road so i got that done so now i can go ahead and get the mower deck off the back I had fixed that wheel too, that was broken. Get the mower deck off the back and put my cement mixer. Because this is a thousand year home, I'm putting in a gate that I think might last a thousand years. We'll see. But uh, let's go get that cement mixer together. Well, I had to turn off the camera and have a cursing fit. I ended up having to drive under there and push that out. Those branches beat the dog out of me. Woo wee! This thing is not light. This will be the first time for me setting this thing up, so it does use hydraulics here, so let me go ahead and uh, get my mower deck off. I won't need that anymore. Get the PTO and the hydraulics set up.
All right, step one. Let me tell you, removing that PTO, that's some tough stuff. Always been tough stuff. There's a quick release that I'll end up getting to make that job easier. I don't have it yet. All righty, let me go ahead and get this around, see if I can back into it. Get up on the three points. These are adjustable. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Those are adjustable too. All right, this guy came with a class one pins, but I have a uh, class two Harbor Freight three, hit, three point hitch. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put these ferrules in there that'll adapt out from three quarter or half inch up to one inch. I'll be happier with that because this is a lot of concrete. So it's heavy, let me muscle it around, get it lined up, and then I'll back the tractor in. God willing, this will go easy, but you know, it's my first time. It might be your first time watching such a thing, I don't know. Well, I'm not even sure a three-point hitch is going to work on this, but right now it's snagging on the hook. So, I'm going to unbolt it, pull that out, pull that arm out, make room for the piston. We'll see if this three-point hitch works on this thing. I will tell you one thing on this quick-release hitch. I'm tired of undoing these bolts, and they're all chewed up. So I'm going to get some grade-A pins for that put pins in there instead you know they've been farming for how many thousands of years and everything's a bowl and a thing quick pins why and why isn't everything the same why don't all engineers look at the thing and say class two this why does everything a custom connect I don't know how farmers do it now I've simplified my life a little bit here Latch it? Throw this latch. Yeah! Okay. One down. You want me to latch that on that side too? Ooh, you... maybe if I pick it up. actually went worse than I expected. It did. I expected to be able to put all the pins in it at least. Now look, there's different spots for me to put this, right? Based on how far I want it to dump. Could I reverse the piston? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, so my thought is I'm going to have to cut that in a circle, you know, the tops off so that um, this will rotate. I, I might need to use that. It must not be, it should be interchangeable. That's so weird. Uh, they've been doing this for, uh, like I say, a hundred years or more. This should be, all of these dimensions should be done for a farmer. But no, every every piece of equipment I put on this I have to cut and drill mm -hmm. different holes so I failed tonight no you have to you have to I'm just a failure no but you have to your failures are a success because now you I knew I'd need something do, yeah and it's not your you know fault, the quick no. release valve fine but now I find out I need to grind and cut I need some cutting wheels it's hot as heck all right, well, uh, hmm, this went 
poorly. <laughs> now I knew it wouldn't go well, but it went worse than what I expected. Listen, farmers have been using farm equipment for a hundred years. So there is no reason why every piece of equipment I put on to a tractor has to be modified. It's disrespectful of ranchers and farmers times. It is and it's ridiculous. It's not like these things change, right? That's a known distance. It's a class 2 hitch. Known, de known width, known height, known up and down. Uh, uh, unexcusable. So, uh, listen, uh, I want something this big because when I do earth bag on the house, I'm going to need a big concrete mixer. So, that's a full-size commercial grade. Uh, it was expensive, but not as expensive as buying a, a gasoline-powered um, cement mixer of that volume. I think I'm going to buy a littler cement mixer that's electric. I'll keep my eye out at a, at a uh, pawn shop. So a couple of things. This bracket is going to need to be cut in, a, in an arc so that it fits, you know, so that this will tilt. That's fine. This doesn't fit in these holes so I'm either going to notch out and make room for it to fit or I have to do some other modification and I'm not sure yet and then um, the fitting came in and I'll have to clean that up now because uh, you know it fell off but the fitting came in without a quick connect and I'm gonna want a quick connect in there for ease of attachment so I would give this a uh, C minus, not having powered it up. Uh, but I see there's a grease cert that I need to take care of. I'll, I'll look around it on other places for more grease certs as well. I, I was hoping to get this mounted tonight so I could pour concrete tomorrow. Instead, I think I'm going to get this modified tomorrow and start pouring concrete next week. <laughs> oh, it is what it is. All right. All right. So yesterday I ended up with the situation on this tractor. This thing, I got to do some grinding. Uh, it's the morning. It's already hot. So, but I need Leah's help. I want to put that up and drag this whole thing over to where there's sand so I can do cutting safely because I won't be able to cut safely here at all. So that's my project. take two on this whole idea so originally I was thinking of cutting that to allow that to come up the shaft and whatnot but I think I'm going to remove the hitch then I only need to grind here so that this will fit this pin so off with the three-point hitch that's, that's what I'm going to do All right, so I'm going to fix that thing right there. I'm going to cut those off. You want me to move all the... Nope. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to lob that off. There's, if it, things get out of hand, Leah can use that fire stop. But I suspect there won't be a problem. You want me to problem. move this? Nope. Oh, that helps it? Um, well, I'm just... I'm going to cut around. Is it work? No, you just, you could stand over there okay. and ooh and ah at my muscles.
in it. I kind of need to hack more off there, though. Man, that one's on this side. It's in. See if it'll go all the way in. Hmm, which one of the little pins was it? I know which size it was. This one? You see? Yes, that's the one. Almost. Oh, yay! Yay! I uh, couldn't have done it without you, my love. Yes, I'm so glad. See, why didn't it come this way? <laughs> that would be the logical thing, right? <laughs> No, let's make the farmers work extra hard extra and then get made hard. fun of. That's so oh uncool. Farmer wells. Well, we want to have the freaking exactly wells. Exactly, <laughs> if they were done right. <laughs> oh my one. gosh. Yeah. All right. I've modified it a little bit, so I'm not. I took that other hitch off. So. Oh. Well, you know, not because I wanted to, because I had to. I'm still not done, you know. This is just the giddy on part. Then I have to hook up the PTO. I have to get the yeah. hydraulics working, and the mechanical part of it should be the easiest part. Stop. You want me to get the pen? I don't know. Yeah. Find your back brace. Oh man, I forgot my back brace. I'm gonna be so sore. You are so right. Good call, baby girl. Put you the and the pain on the yeah, and find that back brace for me wherever yeah. I left it. it right and every time I've I've done anything for farm equipment, it's been this experience. Every time. You can come around this side, you'll have a better angle. But I can't see. Okay. Uh, wow, things I couldn't have done without my Leah. That's right up there at the top, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And then you have a pen for this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All safety pins in. Now all I need to do is get the hydraulics hooked up and then I'll be able to run this thing. Well, PTO. I love you. I love you. Look at my nosy horse mess with my camera. I gotta be real careful he doesn't knock it all over. All right, boys, did you come up for lunch? You guys are nosy. You're very, very nosy. This is all my stuff. Well, yeah. All right, let's get them fed. Put up my camera so they don't knock it over. Well, this wasn't quite as easy as I hoped. So you saw I cut that, and now I have the ram in. I've got it in that end. I don't have the hydraulics hooked up yet. They're... I've got all the safety pins in the top and the bottom. So PTO shaft will be the next thing that I have to put in there. And at what point do I bend it? So see, these pins might need to come out and go in some other spot. That ram might go need to go into another spot. I kind of like it there, though. So I, I'm going to run into town today, uh, the big city, and uh, pick up a little electric uh, or maybe a gas one if I find it at a pawn shop. Smaller cement mixer than this. Uh, this will be fine for doing the tamped earth and, you know, 10% concrete and the mud and a little water and doing it there and put it in earth bags and tamping it. I think I could make concrete in it too. 
if I get everything hooked up but without hydraulics <clears throat> I would have to chain it here well now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see about the PTO uh, of course I don't want the tractor running when I'm doing that first time fit I might have to cut the PTO just like I did the um, the flange to make it fit move it up and down a little bit see how it actuates and that'll help you decide see it's pinching the ram right there so unfortunately I'm going to have to spin that around run the hydraulic hose out of the top that'll be a little bit of work I didn't want to do oops 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 Let's see. is gone really need help the boy needs help Whew. oh man I'm in flip-flops that's not what you want to be in working on a tractor I say that a lot out here I see. That really hurts. <laughs> like it, it doesn't look like it hurts. Looks like, it, but that was from dropping something on my foot. So I really clobbered it. All right, that pins back in. The fitting sitting the right way. It won't get crimped anymore. That's in. PTO is what I'm working on. When you first get your PTO shaft, you all seeing that? I don't know if you can see that. There's a greaser inside of your PTO shaft right there. Make sure that you grease that up while you have it off of there because it gets pretty hard once it's on the machine to rotate it around and find it. You don't get that many degrees of articulation. It kind of covers it up. I, you, when you pull these apart every summer before you use them, that you need to grease that grease cert right there. All right, it took uh, two tubes of, two, of grease before I started to see grease flow out of it. There we go. I'll rotate it the other way. There we go. I, I emptied that tube of grease. All right. Well, now that I've got it greased up, I'm happy. I've greased the U-joints uh, inside of the PTO shafts, uh, but this PTO shaft's not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to chop some off of both ends. So, and that's, that's a common thing, right? Uh, so. Wait a bit. Alright, now I'm going to cut that drive shaft. I don't know. I'll start with four inches off of each side. Oh, 
always keeping us safe, aren't they? Never an inconvenience. Always for our own good. running PTO now the hydraulics what I'm going to end up doing is the hydraulics off of the dump truck is in that container now, I think I'm just gonna modify that container to be mounted on the front here maybe in the fork trucks as well as a pallet of 30 gallon water and a pump and then I could take it anywhere so that hydraulic line, I need a splice to the front. This isn't half bad. With that hydraulic line in there, you could see I could push it and I'd be able to dump that into a wheelbarrow, even. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Now this will be a little heavy on the uh, tractor, so I'm gonna have to be careful. I don't have weighted tires, so definitely that front I'll wait with a. 30 gallon barrel of water chained with our pallet right off of that dump truck I'll take that for the hydraulics for this this is pretty good work for the day I can raise and lower this almost all the way down all right see right there I hear it banging a little bit protesting It's a sweet spot where it likes to be. All right, let's talk about the modifications. I took the pins where they are. I didn't change that, but there are other pins. If I needed to change the dump angle a little bit, I could change the dump angle. So I had to uh, remove the Harbor Freight three-point hitch. It just would not clear all of this assembly. And that saved me from having to notch the three-point hitch. I did have to, on this hydraulic pin, shave off the ear so that the pin would fit in because it didn't have the clearance. And now it does, it can go up and down. Uh, I, and then lastly, I had to modify the uh, PTO shaft, which is normal. That's a normal thing. That was the one thing I thought I'd have to do. But it ended up, I had to do quite a bit of uh, engineering to get this put in here. But now that I've done it once, uh, I'll be able to reproduce it. The only other thing is, uh, it's pretty hot right now, so I don't have the uh, wherewithal to do the hydraulics. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna run one up there. Let's take a look at that hydraulics real quick. Mm, all right, so in this Harbor Freight box, tractor supply box, I guess it is, is a brand new hydraulic system that is gonna that runs this dump bed. So I know it'll run that dump truck or the uh, cement truck. So I have used it, it does work. I bought a lithium battery pack for here, so I got a lithium battery. The tank will need to be refilled. And then the hydraulic line, I might be able to borrow that hydraulic line just right off of here. And then when I use the dump truck, you know, I'll put it back. So um, I, I'll work on that this afternoon and see if I can unbolt this from the bottom. I'm not quite sure how they put it on. So, but that's how I'll handle that. So, you know, I wanted to, uh, <laughs> I wanted to pour mud today. <laughs> and instead I'm uh, 
putting a cement mixer on a uh, uh, 1626 Mahindra tractor, three-point hitch uh, with a, a separate hydraulics. I'm digging this, uh, even though it's hot. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call off. I apologize. Normally I wear a shirt. I am clothed, but normally I wear a shirt. Uh, but it's too hot. I soaked through that right away. Leah helped me early in the morning. It's now in the afternoon. I'm I'm officially tired. But I got everything cut, everything taken care of. Uh, if you get a brand new cement mixer, but you see that's a full, that's a professional cement mixer. I can haul that around the farm. Like I said, with uh, water on the front of the forks, uh, it'll keep it balanced. But also I can go anywhere with that, you know. Uh, the last step is this, uh, let me rotate, is this box. And so uh, it's a little too hot for me right now. I need to take a break. Uh, but I'll go ahead and take that box off and get that on there. I'll put this on some kind of a quick release that I can use for the pickup truck. I don't know, clamps or something, so I can move it back and forth from devices.